Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, look at this new room I'm in. All right. So for you stalkers out there when you know who you are, if this doesn't make any sense to you, then I'm not talking about you. But if it makes sense, this is my new room. So check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it looks great. It's a lot of fun. Very inspiring. I got a lot of cool stuff behind the camera and off to the right side of the camera, your left. That you can't see but i absolutely love this room it's not the best sounding room because i have zero sound treatment up it's a very small room so i have all my walls are filled up i mean you see here on the left side from wall to wall it's just guitars hanging on this so i can't have anything on this wall this wall over here is extremely small and i got shelves over there and then the tv on the back wall and there's a window behind me you can kind of see maybe kind of no you can't see in the glare but i have a window behind, like in front of me so um, it's not the best sounding room, but it's um, a lot of fun. So I figured um, we're going to test some levels. I've got a different amp setup going on here. So the levels are a little bit different, a little bit louder. So as far as the stream goes and videos go, I just want to make sure that I actually have the levels somewhat decent. You know, whenever you produce music, every producer is different, right? So they're going to have a different mastering techniques and different mastering and limiter levels. So while every single song that I play here has been professionally produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered, and all that kind of stuff, they're still going to be a little bit different. So I'm trying to get the levels in a ballpark to where it's going to kind of be universal and work across the board for any song that I play. But let me turn my fan on first because it is hot in here. There we go. That's better. All right. As far as you tone nerds go, basically I'm going through my PRS uh, Custom 24 SE. This girl's name is Khaleesi. It's kind of a cool story. Um, I was going to have a baby. Not me specifically, but my um, my ex. And I didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl, but I was going to buy a guitar for myself in celebration of... Uh, have you know Just another excuse to go buy a guitar. And it was going to be a blue guitar if it was a boy and a pink guitar if it was a girl. Uh, this guitar, or the picture can't really show it that well, but it is a pink guitar because it was a girl and I named it after my daughter Khaleesi. One day this will be her guitar. Hopefully she likes guitars when she gets older. If not, uh, maybe she'll just keep it in her closet and just let it collect dust for forever. But one day I will give this guitar to her. Um, that's this guitar. Going straight into my PV6505+. Plus. Um, and then as far as the cabinet goes, I'm going through a Torpedo Captor X. And that is mic'd up with this cabinet. Not this specific one, but a 212 with vintage 30 speakers. And uh, I've got a, I've just got a, uh, I've got two SM57s, one on access, one off access, and just blended together. And all that's done through the Torpedo Captor X. And then all that information is being brought into my Scarlet 6i6. Um, and then all the editing, or I should say not edit, there's no editing on this, but on the post-processing, um, effects, sounds, all that kind of stuff is going to be the amp. And then I have a Line 6 Helix running through the effects loop. Um, on the Helix, I'm really not running anything other than a boost here and there and a delay. And that's really it. This is what she sounds like. Dry. <laughs> There's that, um, and yeah, pretty much it. So we're gonna do some um, Sound of Madness by Shine Down because I have not played that song in forever. So let's mess up together.
best hour never comes in the night. You can sleep with the gun when you gotta wait. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I did hit record. Woo. -wee.